didn't hit your target weight today, you can still hit it by the end of the week or the end of the month. If you think of it like sport, even if you lose a game, you can still win the championship. This approach really helps frame the concept that even if you have an off day, like a red day, you can still hit your overall goals if you stay consistent for the rest of the week. Just like sports season where your team might lose a game, it doesn't really mean you're going to lose the entire season. So in this structure, you can use the traffic light system to structure your week to set you up. Pick two days a week where it's like you're winning critical games that set you up for success. Call them green days. Pick four days where you might get a tie or you might, you know, you mightn't play as well as you could, but there is some discipline and it allows for some flexibility. And of course, the final one is the red day. This is where you lose. Uh, and that one off day doesn't really mean it's going to derail the entire week or your progress. But the key takeaway here is that if you stay consistent over time, consistency trumps perfection in the short term and small setbacks don't actually define the result. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the traffic light system in order to set up your week for success. Let's check this out. So here's the one thing you can do to win today. Define your minimum effective dose for nutrition and training. For example, you might say every single day for nutrition, I'm going to have a specific breakfast. Now that might be something that you're going to have, which you know is good in proteins, has your fats uh, with no carbohydrate. And for example, that's going to set you up for the day. That might be tracking your meal for the day that you know is going to really set you up for success and you're going to hit your calorie target. Now, if you go to training, for example, that might be something where you're hitting your, um, your, you know, your steps for the day or you're going to the gym for the day and you're really uh, hitting those targets or you're trying to do a stretch session before breakfast or something like that. Now, um, put your own in for this process and that's going to help later on through this uh, lesson. Now, your healthy traffic light map, um, as I mentioned before, expecting each day to be perfect is just naive. So use the layout below to structure your week. So for example, you might have two green days a week uh, where you know you hit your planned meals, you're going to the gym, you're sleeping for seven hours, you're getting out a bit of sun in the morning, everything's perfect, right? Therefore, you might have a few days, those amber days where you don't hit all the greens, but you've done the, uh, the basics. And the red days, of course, is where things are thrown out of plan and you're not really uh, staying on course. However, there is a black day, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, if you go to the second tab on scoring, you can see how this works. To the right is a matrix, and this is really what makes up a perfect day. And you can change some of these, but I've found in my 20 years of doing this that if people do the top five things quite well first, the next five are a bonus, but at least that gives them that 80 percent benefit by just doing 20 percent of things so rather than worrying about your adherence across the week we'll be grading you against a checklist and if you do this matrix over here so if i have a calorie goal of two and a half thousand calories and i hit that for the day i'm going to give myself a one if i train when required i want to give myself one if i hit my macros within a suggested range if i sleep for seven hours if i have two or three servings of fruit and veg or i hit my fiber um, content from my meat, if I hit my steps, if I warm up pre uh, properly when I train, if I have a morning and evening routine, like I do some diet logging or I, I you know, do some journaling on whatever I'm trying to do in my life, or I meditate in the morning or I do some yoga or whatever it is, and you wake up at target time and you're really working on your circadian rhythm, that's a 10 out of 10, that's a perfect day. Whereas you might have a day where you only track your calories, uh, you train, you hit the range, you sleep, and you have your minimal um, amount of fruit or vegetables, whatever you're eating with, uh, with meat, protein, but you don't get these extra, then you're just gonna get an amber day. Now the red days are when you really just, just hit your uh, target range and you train and that's it. Everything else is blown out of the water. Of course, there's a black day. That's basically where you do absolutely nothing and maybe you sleep in, maybe you don't stay on plane and everything's rubbish. So these all add up to points. So a green day will give you plus two points. Um, and that means you hit all 10. 
An amber day means you just hit five, so you only get one point in total. And a red day is a minus one, because a black day is a minus two. So each day aim to score the highest score possible, um, subject to your schedule, of course. And as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of scores between amber and red day, and do what you can, of course, to turn things around. And your goal really here is to hit the highest score you can each week, uh, and try beat the previous week. Now, if you prefer um, the habits six to 10, they can be changed to suit you. If you'd like to change any of those, you can. Uh, but really the consistency score at the bottom should reflect what you're trying to achieve with your own health. Uh, and if you score 80%, which is a score of 12 or more, then you earn the right to add a new habit. So you can work like that yourself. Now, um, one thing I do wanna do is now go to here. So let's just say that I've set up my week to, to a bit like this. Um, now I think I'm gonna have a green day on Monday. Um, so I'll give myself a two out of that. Tuesday, I don't think I'm going to hit my calorie target because there's, there's dinner on, for example, I'm gonna get a one. Now Wednesday, I know for sure um, that I'm not gonna stay on target because I can just try and I can just hit my calories, but everything else might get thrown out of the window. Uh, and on Thursday, it's an absolute write-off day because I slept in, I didn't stick to my plan, what it might be. So you can forecast what your week is going to look like. You can also use this as a lag indicator, uh, meaning that something's already happened in the past, as a way to help you kind of monitor what's happened in the past. So in a sense, this could help plan your week, and this could be how you score your week. I trust that keeping score of your health using a traffic light system has now become a tool for you to use in order to achieve your health goals. Now, post in the community your minimal effective dose for nutrition and training. What is gonna be the baseline thing that you can do every single day in order to win at the end? Of course, we're gonna have green days. We're gonna have some great days. We're gonna have some amber days. We're gonna have some reds, maybe even blacks. Post in the community your minimal effective dose. I'm Robbo. I'll get you fit. I look forward to seeing you win. Cheers.